Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. My name's Chase, and today we're gonna to be discussing proper fueling procedures, as well as setting up a few of your fuel gauges. So today we're out on the Masters 267OE. As you can see, we're fueling it up. First thing to note when fueling is that most of our models today have two fuel fills. They both have a venting feature, but it's always best practice to open both while fueling just to allow for better fuel flow. So another thing to note is fuel tank eulage. For instance, the 267 has a 116 gallon tank. The eulage is gonna be anywhere between eight to 10 gallons. But that being said, you're only gonna really be able to get 106 to 108 gallons in the tank. So you wanna be sure you're not overfilling the tank in doing so, you might balloon the tank out and put a lot of pressure on the seals and valves throughout the whole tank and fuel system. A way to prevent this would be as you're filling, once the fuel stop clicks, let the tank air for about a minute to a minute 30 seconds without pumping any fuel, leaving both fuel fills open. After that minute and 30 seconds, go back, start fueling again. Once it clicks a second time, you're full. Do not add any more fuel to the boat. That is the most you wanna get in the boat and you're done fueling. So lastly, we're gonna go over some of your fuel gauges and the ones that we recommend you use. So as you can see, we just put fuel in the boat and I'm showing 0%. So we're gonna click on it, select replace data, fuel. It'll give you multiple options of what the Garmin unit's gonna be reading for fuel. So like, as I said, we know we have fuel in the boat. So we're gonna to go to tank level. That's gonna be the measurement coming from your fuel sender in the boat and is always gonna be accurate. From other options like total fuel on board and stuff like that where you can add fuel to the boat is great if you keep up with it over time, but the most accurate thing is always gonna be your fuel sender and that's gonna be tank level. Now some models might have tank one, tank two, multiple tanks in there. Tank one is always gonna be the fuel sender, so be sure you select that one in your fuel gauge. Another feature to note is if you have a Yamaha outboard or Mercury, Yamaha has an interface right here. The blue gauge right in the center of your screen is always gonna be fuel and it is hardwired to the sender. You cannot change it. So if for whatever reason, if you're on your fuel gauge or in gauge somewhere in the Garmin, it starts to get off or you lose track of it somewhere, always go back to your Yamaha. You can select it there and it'll always be on the fuel sender as well as if you have Mercury's with a vessel view, the fuel reading on there in the center is always going to be standard set to the fuel sender. All right, guys, so those are some of the most common questions we get in relation to fuel and the fuel gauges. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe. If you have anything that you guys would like to see, please email us at the address listed below, and we'll see you next time.